Hi, this is Coach Brene. I'm Program manage for, Manager for the Bay City Facility, and this is our Little Ninjas Virtual Lesson number 18. Very good to see you again, Ninjas. So let's go to our Feet Together Set position. Feet Together Set. Very good. And let's bow. Awesome. Now let's begin with our student creed. Repeat after me. Say, I will develop myself in a positive manner and avoid anything that would reduce my mental growth or my physical health. I will develop self-discipline in order to bring out the best in myself and others. I will use common sense before self-defense and never be abusive or offensive. This is a black belt school. We are dedicated. We are motivated. We are on a quest to be our best. Winners never quit. Quitters never win. I choose to win. Very good job, ninjas. So let's go feet together, set, and bow. Excellent. So today we're going to begin with our shadow work. So that means we're going to be moving around, practicing our martial arts in the air. So not necessarily striking a target, but I want you to get your moves down without striking a target. So we're just getting warmed up here. So don't go 100%, but have some fun. But the combination we're going to do from our guard stance, we're going to get into a foot, one foot forward, one foot back, hands by our cheeks. And we're going to do our jab, cross, and we're going to throw our 360 rear kick from there. So one, two, and then 360 rear kick all the way back around. So I really like to do this combination. So one, two, kick, and then I like to move around a little bit in my stance. I stay in my stance, I move, one, two, kick. It's a fast, fast combination. One, two, kick, all the way around. You want to spin, one, two, spin, kick. Now, you can do head kicks, you could do body kicks, you could do leg kicks, but the idea here is a mid to high kick after you do this. So you're throwing punches to their head, they're blocking with parries, hopefully you're going for, and you're snapping a fast kick off afterwards. So catching your opponent off guard is the key. So once again, one, two, kick. Again, one, two, kick. Excellent job, ninjas. Now, we're gonna keep getting warmed up here. We're gonna get down, we're gonna do our push-up. So, working on our chest, working on our arms, our shoulders, we're gonna get down, putting our hands straight down, we're gonna do five push-ups. So, back straight, feet together, we're gonna bend at the elbows. So, ready, together, bending down, and one, two, three, Four, five, very good. Now I want you to take those arms, at least one at a time here. We're gonna bring one arm across, we're gonna push that elbow close to the shoulder here. So one arm across, we're gonna to count to five. Together, ready? One, two, three, four, five, and switch. Ready, one, two, three, four, and five. Now it's so important that we do push-ups and stretch our arms because we're actually working on our elbows today. Now the elbows are a very, very effective tool that we can use in martial arts, especially when we're doing Muay Thai because that's what we're doing. So the elbows, and we actually have seven different attacks we can use from the elbow. 
It's not something we would necessarily use on the playground. These are skills that we don't want to use at home, but if we don't have space where we can throw a punch, elbows are a great, great, great tool. So, especially if we're in a defensive situation, we can use our elbows to attack with. So, what we're gonna do is our elbows one through three today. So, when we have our hands up, we're gonna have our lead side hand as the goal post. So one arm is the goal post, and this hand is open. This is just to protect me from this side. Now my rear side elbow will come across. This thumb, I make an L out of my hand. I push my hand through and into my armpit, bringing my arm across my body. So this elbow is coming diagonal across my body. So we have our one elbow. Again, one, one more time, one. So the one elbow, as you can see, is an attack that we use straight forward. If the attacker is coming straight on, or maybe they have their head down or something, we can use that elbow straight across our body. So once again, let me show you from a different angle. So I have my goal post arm, elbow across to one. Now, let's say someone's off to the side or they're coming from behind me. I can use my two elbow. Now, this is if someone's directly, like diagonal behind me. Using that same side elbow, I have my goal post arm. I bring this elbow straight back. So I look before I strike because what if I throw this elbow and one of my friends or, or my siblings are right there? Or let's say I go to throw that elbow and there's a brick wall right there. Now, you don't want to mash your elbow super duper hard. That could really hurt. So we want to look before we strike. Elbow, goal post up. Bring this elbow ready to strike. We have our one that comes across. Now our two is going to come straight back. So we have one, two. Let's try that again. Bring your arm across and two, two. See that guys? Again, two. One more time, two, two. Excellent. So let's try this out again. We have one, two. Now, staying on that trend, we're moving behind us. So let's say we have somebody who's trying to grab us they're trying to hurt us, they're trying to pick us up, we can use our three elbow to knock them away. Or we can use our three elbow to knock them back, make them stun them and knock them away. So we have our one, we have our two, and our three is just a continuation of number two. So we continue on for three. So this is if someone's at our, well, at our six o'clock directly behind us. So. We can do our one, two, three. Let's try this again. One, two, three. So this is a quick turn. I like to take this inside or rear leg. I like to step opening my body up so that I can rotate on my hip and I spin this lead foot. So in full, I have one, two, three. Now, when we do our elbows, like I had mentioned, using our eyes is key, but using our hips is even more important. Whenever we're doing an attack, the hips are the strongest part of my body. So I had mentioned using my feet, turning my feet, all these little steps. As you get better with this technique, Start being mindful of your feet. Start being mindful of your hips. Rotating, turning, all of these little things give you control. Now control is a very important tool in martial arts, not just in the sense that you can throw a better punch or you can throw anything, a kick or whatever. The point is you're in charge of your body, you're in charge of your actions, you, you're, you are the one who makes the decisions. So the more you work on your control, the more you're mindful of this skill, the level of control you will get is higher. So 
like with anything in life, you will get better at being in control. So I want you to be mindful of it. Use this time to build your sense of control of your body. Now, when we work in our martial arts skills, some skills require more control than others, especially if you want to pull it off. Now, today I want to work on our sidekick. So when we do a side kick, it requires you to balance your body, controlling a kick. So when we do learn this kick, I'm gonna actually give you a fun game to work on with it as well. So when we do a side kick with our lead or rear leg, the, the principle remains the same. We wanna bring our leg up, we wanna chamber, we need to turn our hip over, so turning our leg over so we can chamber and strike. So I bring my knee up to that chamber, I turn my hip over, so now that my hip is at a horizontal position, and now I can extend my foot out and down. So when I strike, I'm using the, heat, the side of my foot here, the blade of my foot. So again, I chamber, I turn my foot over, I strike out and bring it right back. So chamber, extend, retract, and Sometimes it helps to have a place to balance on. So if you have something like a wall, you can try this out there. You can chamber, turn that knee over. You can hold it there. I want this to be flat right here. Your leg, your knee, everything should be nice and straight. So when you strike out, there's a nice extension. Then you can turn it back, bring it down. So we can go from the other side now. Changing sides, chamber, Turning my hip over, I extend, I retract, and I like to stop my foot right on the ground. So switch sides again. Chamber, I pull my toes back, I turn my leg over, you can see the bottom of my foot now, I can strike my foot out, back, and down. Again, one more time from the other side. Chamber, toes back, hip over, push out, bring it back, and now down. So, talking about control, doing five or six of these kicks, you're gonna feel it in your hips, especially if you're working at pushing up against a wall. You'll feel it the longer you hold your leg, the more tired your hips will get. So requiring you to focus your body, control your body. So now, I want you to have someone to work with, maybe a sibling or a parent, have them make up a target on a piece of paper. Have them hold the target and using your focus and using your control, see if you can kick through the target. Using your eyes to look, using your foot, being in control of your actions and kicking and bringing that foot down like a martial artist. That's what I wanna see when we kick. So a great way to work on that is to give yourself targets. Give yourself a challenge. Be the martial arts coach when you work with your parents. A lot of times parents, they have worked with one of us and they don't know how to push yourself. They don't know how to push you, should I say. So what I mean is set yourself a goal. Give yourself as many reps as you can do. Make your exercise worthwhile. Move forward. So today, Give yourself a little exercise. Work on your sidekicks. Move around the yard. Jog a little bit. I want to see how well you guys can move forward when times are tough. I want your fitness to make up for your lack of being in class. So use this good weather. Go outside. Jog around the yard. Do some extra push-ups. Take what I teach you in each lesson and build on that. Be your own coach. Be in charge when you are doing your martial arts kicks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our front kicks and we're gonna do it from our rear leg and then our rear leg and then we're gonna switch our feet and do it all over again. So we're in our stances and what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our knee up, we're gonna do our side kick and back down. Now I'm gonna bring my rear leg up around and kick. Boom, boom, but I'm gonna bring it into the front. Boom. So now my new front leg is gonna come up, kick out, and down. Now my rear leg, up, out, and down. So now I'm always switching my feet 
and bringing my leg in the front. So lead leg, side kick, down, rear leg, side kick, down. That same leg now, that one that was just in the rear is in the front, is now going to strike again and down. And then the new rear leg is going to strike, come down, and become the new lead leg. So you can theoretically kick forever. Find some space in the yard. Work on your coordination. Work on your control when you do these kicks. And then add it to the drill before. Give yourself some targets. Hang them from a tree or something. I don't know. Kick them. Knock them down. Show me what you can do this week. I want to see you move forward, martial artists. We always move forward, never backwards, especially when we're throwing a kick. That energy is going out and forward. I want you guys to think that way this week. We're moving forward. We are pushing ourselves. So push yourself this week, ninjas. Work on your kicks. Work on your elbows. But first and foremost, be safe. And if I don't hear from you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Thank you.